romantic art of this time was influenced by romantic ideas such as romance and nature. J.M.W. Turner was born on April 23, 1775 in Covent Garden, London. At age 14, he attended the Royal Academy of Arts and eventually held his first exhibit there at age 21. While he was in school, he also worked on it as an architectural draft. He then opened his first gallery in 1804. Four. Married, but had two daughters, Evelyn and Georgina, with his housekeeper, Sarah Danby. After his father's death, his work thrived, but the rest of his life deteriorated, deteriorated, including his gallery. He lived in poverty and in poor health until his death on December 19, 1851, in Shane Walk, Chelsea. At the time of his death, he had finished 2,000 paintings and 1,900 drawings and sketches over his life. He was also referred to the painter of light. Uh, his most famous painting was The Fighting Tamer, tugged to her last birth to be broken up in 1839. And then another one of his most famous paintings was Snowstorm, Hannibal and his, and his army crossing the Alps, done in 1812. Edward Calvert was an English painter and printmaker. He liked to engrave wood. Um, he would join the Navy and afterwards he studied art at Plymouth and Royal Academy in 1824. He was greatly inspired by William Blake and was even a uh, member of one of his group of followers known as the Ancients. Um, one of his most famous wooden masterpieces, the Chamber Idol, um, which he completed in 1831, was pretty much known as his most famous and his last good work. After this, he became a recluse and only painted for fun and not for money anymore because he was quite wealthy, he didn't really need the money. This wood engraving <laughs> is called The Brook and it uh, portrays pastoral richness and many romantic ideals such as nature and women and innocence and it is beautiful. Um, after completing his famous works, he spent most of his life with his wife Mary and they lived outside of London until they both died and they're buried together in London. John Constable was born on June 11, 1776 in East Burgholt to Golding and Ann Constable. His father was a wealthy corn merchant. He would like to go to the countryside and sketch as a child. Uh, while visiting his relatives one time, he was introduced to John Thomas Smith, who was a pro artist who influenced most of his works. Um, he entered the Royal Academy schools, and there he studied history painting, and he began to show his interest for landscapes. He began using watercolor and graphic media in his studies of nature. He made paintings at the Lake District in 1806, but his works did not attract much public attention. He fell in love with Maria Bignall in East Fergold. One of his most famous paintings was Denham Vale, Morning, which was painted in 1811. It observed the naturalistic effect of nature. Um, in 1816, he married Maria, and he had his first kid in 1817. To support his family, he began painting on large scale. To attract public attention, he helped bring about election to be an associate of the Royal Academy. He continued painting nature scenes, seen here, using vibrant colors. He died on March 31, 1837, from heart failure. He was the first artist of the Romantic movement to create landscape paintings drawn directly from nature rather than idealized and dramatic depictions. He influenced many major European figures, such as Bonington and Delacroix. 